Hi everyone, welcome back to Healing Days Oracle or welcome if you're new. Today we have your week ahead reading. I add this video every weekend to help you out with the next week or the next seven days. Whenever you're watching this, those are timeless readings. You can just count the next few days for you and I'm sure this video will help you in some way. If you're new, my name is Josie. I hope you'll consider subscribing. I have over a thousand videos in this channel that can help you out with your love life, career, spirit guides advising you. I do live readings, private readings, I have patrons, memberships, there are many ways for you to connect with me. All the links will be below if you're interested. And today we have three options. Group one, I'll bring close to you this image here. There's a message on the other side, I know they're a bit shiny. So this is the image here. Group two. And group three. Okay, this image here. Whichever one calls your attention first, it's most likely the right one, like I always say. But of course, you can watch the full video and see which one resonates the most. As always, my details, the cards that I use, a way for you to support this channel, everything will be in the description below. Take what is resonating, leave the rest behind, have fun as well. I always set my intentions that your spirit guides will help you to take only what is resonating. Again, group one, two, and three. Timestamp always on the first pinned comment and the description too. Thanks for watching. Group one, if you chose this image here, we leave the message for the end when you get more messages from your spirit guides. And you're gonna start with the week here for you. Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days. If you're not watching the weekend, those are timeless readings. You can just count the next seven days for you. So Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days for group one. We have the King of Swords. For Wednesday, Thursday, halfway through the week, or the following two days, you can not watch on the weekend. Eight of Cups. And the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or the last three days. Seven of Cups. And you're gonna get extra cards here for love, life, career, spirit guides advising you. But we do start this week with the King of Swords. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, definitely someone you're communicating with this beginning of the week or this next two days. It can be an important conversation. And who's coming to your mind right now? Straight away. You know, your guides could be already pointing you into that direction. And honesty is everything. Even if they are coming a bit blunt, you need it to be very straightforward and honest yourself to be able to resolve something, have clarity about something. Maybe you need an advice from someone as well. Maybe this is someone regarding your relationships. There's an important conversation in these first two days. And you being honest with yourself, whoever's involved there, will definitely change the outcome here for you. It feels like you are making a decision to walk away from something comes halfway through the week with the Eight of Cups. And it can be a hard decision sometimes with the Eight of Cups. You need to leave behind something that maybe is not serving anymore or it was a lesson. It's just maybe hard to leave people behind. You maybe have to travel. Those are travel energies too. But any decision that you know there is a change that needs in your life, you may need to walk away from something and have the courage to do that. Maybe you're getting some advice beginning of the week regarding that too. So pay attention to these conversations the beginning of the week. They can be very important for you to give you clarity, help you here. Because comes the weekend, you see, you do have the Seven of Cups, which gives you options, choices. So whatever you have to resolve this week, that you are getting your clarity, your communication beginning of the week, that you are walking away from or traveling from or just trusting your intuition to take this new direction. I feel like you'll see all the options by the weekend. Not that you have gone through all the doors or you have to make a decision straight away, but you need to trust your intuition to not have illusions that everything has to be perfect, but just trusting what's the best option for you regarding this situation. So what's coming to your mind? What do you need to resolve? Maybe you had to resolve from previous weeks and you couldn't. 
this week you have a decision clarity and um, deciding here but also seeing your options your opportunities to resolve manifest something but understanding that not getting stuck in illusions that it has to be just one way this way my way of perfect but understanding what is resonating with you you know you're going to be in the right direction let's get the card here for your love life whether you are in a relationship or not six of pentacles i like the six of pentacles for relationships because you can see here the scale here as well and being able to give this equal give and take in relationships and this energy of trusting here that any energy that you put on you will receive back whether it's because you're trying to get to know this person, go deeper in your relationship, or just healing. What are you doing right now when it comes to your love life? Are you trying to manifest someone back, someone new, or going deeper in a connection? Any energy that you put in, you will receive back. And you could be thinking, do, do, does this person feel the same? It's equal give and take here with the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like, yes, it is a positive balance here that you will feel when it comes to your relationships this week and let's see if for your career whether you're working or not manifestations money i'm gonna take just the top one which is the eight of ones getting eight and eight again fast energies with the eight of ones many things coming your way it could be many opportunities directions you could be busy it can be overwhelming sometimes with the eight of ones and you need to trust here your intuition to just slow down one day at a time, one step at a time. These two are travel energies too. So maybe you're traveling with work or there is some travel opportunities for you. Whether you're trying to manifest in your job, outside the jobs, many things are going to happen this week when it comes to career money decisions. So pay attention to what you're trying to manifest when it comes to your career or a job opportunity or even outside the job, your business. You know, a new position that you're trying to manifest because this can be many things coming at the same time. Communicating with someone, say, seeing your opportunities, your choices, deciding. And again, things are coming fast, but it doesn't mean that you have to do something fast. Keep trusting your intuition so you don't get stuck in anything. You see the illusions of the Seven of Cups again, but being able to know what's best for you. So things are moving quite fast, okay? So if you wanted to open a new door, you have an opportunity this week that things will start to move, especially if I've been a bit stuck. Let's see here for an advice of the week, and I'm going to get extra cards here. Energy of the week advice, Knight of Pentacles. No doubt, slow wins the race, you know, having this patience and uh, taking one day at a time, one step at a time. My spirit guides are telling you that not rushing, even if the energies are fast and opportunities and having to really trust your intuition to decide to walk away from something one day at a time. You don't need to do all at once, but I feel like this week you have clarity on what's the best direction, people, opportunities coming your way. Again, you have choices and options for you, no doubt. Let's see here a couple of cards among the mini cards here. And okay, no, I forgot. I wanted to read this here first and I'll give you two more options. This here is more on a shadow. This is a shadow healing. So anything for healing this week. We have anguish. Simply knowing there is an end to this feeling of sorrow is the very beginning of your healing process. You see, anything that you feel like you know, this anguish, this energy of what's going on. I feel this way. I need to allow healing in some area. Just know that the fact that, you know, it's not going to last forever. This feeling will, will end is the beginning of any healing. Okay. Or a focus for you. Something to focus on if you are in any healing process or trying to go and find the end or the silver lining, the light at the end of the tunnel of any challenging situation that you're going through right now, whether it's healing or anything around you with your family, work, any situation like that. Just knowing that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Things don't last forever, you know, in one way. 
So there is a beginning of a process here of seeing the light at the end of the tunnel when you understand that nothing will last forever here in feeling negative or anguish or any other bad feelings will not last anyway. Let's see here another couple of cards for you. We also have change. As with the falling leaves, embrace change. So change is coming for you. Interesting with that eight of cups here and your choices coming this week for sure. So you definitely have changes coming for you, for some of your travels, for some of you walking away from something that can be difficult to do it, but trust your intuition with the process here. Anything else? One last message. We have strength. Don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden. Okay, so what is no longer serving? Not being afraid to walk away from something King of Swords is holding the sword as well to be clear, see things clear and cut away what's not serving. So I feel like you're building strength. You are being prepared for changes, opportunities, new doors. Things are moving quite fast, but you can still take one day at a time to connect with your guides and trust your intuition before any decision. I'll leave with this group one. I hope this helps out or resonates in some way. If it does, let me know. Leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals you see in front of you, my own decks I have created and much more, all the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much and as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi group 2, if you chose this card here, I'm going to leave the message to the end and we're going to start with Monday, Tuesday or the next two days if you're not watching the weekend. Like I always say, those are always timeless readings. Group 2, Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days. Okay, so we do have six of wands. And halfway through the week, Wednesday, Thursday, or the following two days. If you're not watching the weekend, I'm taking just the top one, which is Ace of Cups. And the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or the last three days. Four of Swords. Okay, we're gonna get extra cards for love life, career, spirit guides advising as always. But we started with the Six of Wands. Celebrations, reasons to celebrate here after the battles. So maybe previous weeks you had some challenging times here. And this week you start already with that recognition of your hard work and being able to celebrate something. And I feel like that's a good energy, especially after some high times and previous weeks that could have been difficult. You can see how you start here in a good way. Other people recognize your hard work too. And you can see here the Ace of Cups for middle of the week. So open doors here for heart, communication, love, for your healing. So what do you try? I try here to open. We're going to get extra card for love life too. But not just for love lives. Opening a door of something that you love. You know, you love to do. You love to be around. Maybe it's your hobby. And maybe it's a job that you really love. Or enjoying the present moment. Healing energies. Really trust your intuition. Halfway through the week. Will help you to open an important door here. That you could have been trying in previous weeks. And this is the week of celebrations. Starting a positive note. And you know that you're going to be able to open this door. But you're going to see if I love life too. So maybe someone trying to talk to you. And at the end of the week, you do have the Four of Swords. This energy of learning, especially interesting, these energies of going through battles. What is your lesson after those battles here that you are celebrating now? You come in the other side. But what's the lesson? What can you avoid to repeat over and over again? And those are a lot of understandings and learning about the past and not rushing to anything, taking time to create foundations for your intuition, in this case with the Ace of Cups here, for your relationships, what you want next in your life. You don't need to rush, take time for you, for really trust your intuition and knowing what you want to do next here in your life. It feels like you have a reason to celebrate, a door that you open, but you trust your intuition here to not rush into anything and make sure to learn your lessons this week. Looking back for the difficult times of previous weeks or even previous months for you. I have something good that it comes 
that help you to understand, okay, why did this happen? Where are you now? And what you wanted to do next? Okay, so what's coming to your mind? Career, relationships. For many of you guys, relationships, okay? But again, take your time, your intuition. This can be celebrations and recognitions of your hard work for your career as well. But I feel like you have a few things going on this week that will help you to go back to your intuition to open doors and not rush. You don't need to rush into anything. Let's see for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. Okay, we do have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles for relationships can be this energy of having flexibility with each other, working on the relationship, taking time, even if you're just meeting someone, being friends, you know, having to help each other in some way. So whether you're trying to manifest someone back, someone new, develop a friendship, or going deeper in this connection, being flexible, having patience with each other, and being able to work things out, you know, understanding the other side, I feel like you see results. Again, it's hard work payback, but you definitely have this flexibility and compromise and um, collaboration with each other it will make a difference here in your relationship this week or relationships that you're trying to manifest or someone coming very slowly, friending your way, trying to help you, maybe someone helping you at work or school or the gym. Just know that they could be trying to approach you friendly, but there is an underlying interest there on your love life here, okay? And for your career finances this week, we do have the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is an opportunity coming. Maybe it's coming again. For some of you, feel like you missed a chance in the past and this chance is coming again. Maybe for a job, an opportunity, for maybe a side job, your business, or... Maybe it's an opportunity that you you didn't apply for that job, but you can apply now. That kind of situation is coming here. And again, coming back to you. So maybe an opportunity to make money or side jobs or extra money that you didn't take that chance in the past. It's coming again this week. So pay attention to the choices, the opportunities. And again, you have a free will. You may or may not take that chance, but the chance is coming back to you. So pay attention to... The doors. Remember the Ace of Cups. Something that you'd love to do. Let's see an advice of your guide here. Advice from your guide is the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands is an advice. I feel like your guides are telling you there is something that is resonating with you this week. You see with the Ace of Cups, you do take action. Do not hold back. You know, take your time to understand. You don't need to rush. The Four of Swords is learning a lesson doing something different from the past, creating foundations, but also do not stay just on your mind, understanding about the situation and taking action as well. So the guides really wanted to, again, connect with your intuition, with the fire, passion of the Ace of Wands, what is resonating with your heart, with your emotions, with your fire, passion, things you wanted to do, and to take action towards what is resonating, because you know you're going to be on the right path. If it's not resonating, it's okay to say no as well. But if it's resonating, if something is one, it's what you wanted to do, do not hold back forever. And let's get a couple of cards here. But I wanted to read the message here from the card you chose. This is more on the shadow side, okay? Those are the shadow healing cards. So let's see mini cards I'm on the mini cards this week. What are the shadow energies for this week? Annoyed. Okay, so anything that you're annoyed or you get annoyed this week, voicing your frustration will provide you with an opportunity to explain the situation in a different way, which could be the very answer they're looking for. Okay, so anytime that you find yourself annoyed this week, trying to resolve something, again, go back to your intuition, try to learn from the past. Maybe you responded in a way that it caused more issues. And again, relationships this week for sure. Maybe it's romantic relationships, family relationships, colleagues at work or school. And again, if you're annoyed with someone, what's the lesson? How can you do different so you get a different result? But, you know, be honest. You know, be honest with them. That's the main thing. Anything else we need to know or help this week? Okay. 
I want the two cards anyway. So we do have uh, this cover. Look at the early dew drops before they disappear with the morning sun. This energy of really connect with your intuition, your inner guides. Maybe the first thing you do in the morning, you know, when you have that connection with your guides, when you just try to remember dreams that you could be very guided. Discover this energy, you know, because sometimes it's, it just doesn't last too long, that connection. So go deeper here in quiet times when you just wake up. Pay attention this week can be very helpful. Also play among the grass and wild violets lie undisturbed little secrets to uncover. And I feel like this energy of playing, you know, bringing the light into situations, enjoy the present moment, find something that brings you joy. Many times we're so stuck in the dark energies and we're forgetting to play or do something fun that can really elevate your energies around you or the people around you. You're definitely dealing with some relationships this week. So pay attention to that. And it's definitely an energy of lessons. You're learning from the past, doing something different this week. So you open doors here that I feel like you're really happy about. Celebrations after the battles, no doubt. I'll leave with this group too. I hope this helps out and resonates in some way. If it does, let me know, leave me a comment. You know, I'm always happy to hear from you. If you want the next station of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the crystals is in front of you, my own decks I have created and much more. All the links will be there. Like, share this video, it helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching. Hi group three, if you chose this lovely card here, there's a message on the other side, but we're gonna leave to the end. Let's start with Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days. Whenever you're watching this, those are timeless readings. Monday, Tuesday, or the next two days, Queen of Wands. Wednesday, Thursday, halfway through the week, or the following two days. Okay, flying for you, Two of Pentacles. And the weekend, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or the last three days. Okay, for the weekend here for the last three days, if you're not watching straight away, I'll take just the top one, two of wands. And you're gonna get extra cards for your love life, career, spirit guides advising you as always. But we do start this week with the Queen of Wands, Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe you or someone you're dealing with, and this energy of stepping into your power. Not be afraid that you really trust to take action towards what is resonating with your heart, fire, passion, what you wanted to do, being able to be a leader here, in charge, speak your truth. I feel like this energy, and again, it can be someone that is giving you an advice, someone in charge there that you're talking with, but it's for you to embrace this energy. What is resonating with you, you can stay in that path. What is not to walk away as well? Because a uh, moment of decision, you see how you have the two and two for this week as well. Two of Pentacles, it really feels like you could be halfway through the week busy and balancing between different areas of your life, career, family, relationships, and you could be busy here, but know that you can keep the balance. You can keep the harmony here even if you're busy. And this can be for side jobs as well. So if you are investing on something else, or if you wanted to have money coming in different directions, this could be a week that you have clarity on extra business, side the jobs, opportunities for you. And comes the weekend, you have a decision. For many of you, it could be a travel opportunity, deciding. The world is on your hands, don't forget that. But it's a decision here for you to go forward. What do you want it to do next? And I feel like it's important to go back to that energy of the Queen of Wands. You see with the Wands here. To what is resonating with you? What is, I feel like, connected with your fire passion? And you know that is the right direction for you. So what you're trying to manifest? And again here, you're balancing things out. You're a bit busy. But you can be in charge. You can still connect with that intuition, inner wisdom guiding you. And you will be on the right path. So I feel like a week of taking charge, taking back your power from anything, anyone that is 
holding you back and being able to, I feel like, follow the path that is good for you. Making your own decisions and making a decision from a position of power. When you say yes, when you mean yes, no, if you mean no, and not holding back too much. And I feel like balancing things out. Busy week, but definitely in charge. Let's see for your love life, whether you are in a relationship or not. Group three. Okay, I'll take just the top one. There's so many. But we have the two of cups. So no doubt connections this week. So you're trying to connect with someone back, new or new people, or even going deeper in your connection. The two of cups can be the two sides, really being able to open and be honest here, open heart and open communications, honesty, and talking about their feelings. This can be dates as well. If you're going on dates or invited to go on a date, or even going deeper on a connection you already have, being able to share how you feel, the other side will be the same. So you're trying to manifest someone back new or deeper in this connection. The way that you open, I feel like it's going to be the reciprocity. Okay, so open heart, open communication, and you'll get the equal give and take here of open heart. So pay attention to someone trying to approach you as well, for you guys trying to manifest someone back on you. And this could be dates, invitations. I feel like it's a very positive energy for sure, falling in love. But the two sides are equal here. That's the main thing. And let's see for your career manifestations this week, whether you're working or not, hang it man. So hang in there, have patience with anything you try to manifest or resolve. Just know that the guides are saying, don't give up on what you want. We're trying to illuminate you, guide you, and you'll see a direction this week. Remember, you have decisions this week for many of you for your career, finances, for sure. And you don't need to rush into anything. Wait pros and cons of everything and stay focused on what is resonating. But again, you have patience to anything you're trying to manifest or resolve, balancing everything out this week. Let's see for an advice of the week. We're going to get our Oracle cards too. Ace of Swords. So, no doubt, communications, honesty, clarity, being honest with yourself, whoever's involved in your life, that is what is going to guide you this week. And they guide to say you open doors with that. You see clarity. You can weigh pros and cons of situations and being able to have clarity here on what's the best for you. So anything that I feel like even in previous weeks you couldn't understand or you couldn't balance or resolve or there was something holding back, you have clarity this week. You can use this source to cut away what's not serving as well. And being able to really have honest conversations that will open doors. And I wanted to see what's the message here for you. This is actually um, Shadow Healing uh, mini decks. Okay, so I'm on the mini cards this week. It's another mini one. And it's a shadow energy, anything you're dealing this week. Frustration. So any frustration this week, remember, restart, restart from the very beginning and scrap anything already tried. The answer to moving beyond this irritation will only be found in exploring new ideas. You see, sometimes they're very frustrated with something or situation or person open, uh, you know, happening over and over again. The same thing, and the guy's the same. If it, it's the same frustration, it's the same thing over and over, try something different. You know, and scrap anything already tried. You tried that. You didn't get the result. Try something completely different. Because the answer to... Moving beyond, you know, being frustrated with something is going to be exploring new ideas. So anything new here for you. I mean, anything else you guys wanted to work with or help you with this week. Okay, I want the two cards anyway. We have forgiveness. A crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. You know, be able to forgive yourself, others. Just free yourself. Forgiveness is not forgetting because if you forget you're not learning you could be repeating the same thing but forgiving yourself others freeing your energy from that so you can move forward with the lesson not forgetting anything so maybe for some of you and hidden depths that you only see the surface 
look beyond okay you only see the surface so anything that's hidden going deeper here this week it help you to see what it's really necessary you see waiting pros and cons seeing all the sides of a situation honest conversations with this ace of swords cutting away what's not serving forgiving you know what can you do to go deeper in any situation that will release frustrations will find balance will help you to take back your power and definitely a lot of illumination this week for understanding what's the best path for you whether it's your love life career there are different ways here that you will see clearly but it's because you have the power of the decisions as well i'll leave with this group tree i hope this helps out or resonates in some way if it does let me know leave me a comment you know i'm always happy to hear from you if you want an extension of this reading or anything from my Etsy shops, the quiz is the same in front of you. My own decks I have created and much more. All the links will be there. Like, share this video. It helps the channel so much. And as always, I wish you a lovely week. Thanks for watching.